Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to be doing some more generic movie titles. You'll learn some great tricks in this, and as usual, you'll be able to swap out the titles and have whatever you want. Now, I really like movie titles. I like to analyze them and look at them and just kind of create my own version of them. It does a couple of things. Um, you're always using text tiles and whatnot coming in announcing your next frame or things like that. And so these are good tutorials to learn a lot of different skills. And also it's fun to just kind of create new looks based off of existing movie titles and things like that. So with this, there's lots of cool things and there's a, a kind of a neat new effect, a trick that I want to show you with its a compound blur. Not a lot of people know or how to use a compound blur. And so we're using that in this look. But let's start with a brand new composition. Let's make sure it's 1920 by 1080. Five seconds is just fine. Give it a name and okay. So first thing we want to do is create our movie title. So what I had done with this one is just titles of the movie. We can write whatever we want. Um, something big and bold. First thing I want to do is make sure my spacing is how I want it. So I want titles and movie to be like that. And then let's take of, bring that down. And then what was that at? That was at 210 pixels. Do the same thing with the. But on the, I'm going to need to go into this right here where I can change the pixels up or down. And I might take the whole thing and maybe spread it out a little bit more. Maybe about like that. That's looking pretty good. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I want to pre-compose this. And the reason why you pre-compose is then I can, whatever I do to it in the future, um, I'll able to go back to this composition and switch out and everything will just dynamically change. So let's pre-compose this, Command-Shift-C, and we'll just call this Titles. Make sure we move all the attributes and everything's good to go. So first, we, before we do all the stuff with the the title work, with the kind of how it's fading on and blurring in like that, is let's create this background. Let's get a new solid. It doesn't matter the color. But let's call this noise because we're going to do some noise and we're going to do some some kind of a dust particle thing going on. And so with this noise, let's bring it to the bottom. We can hide those titles. Let's add an effect. Noise and grain. Turbulent noise. And let's go in and let's just do like a dynamic progressive. Uh, maybe increase the contrast a little bit and bring the transform scale up. Uh, something about like that. I might bring the brightness down. Maybe bring the complexity up a little bit as well. Create kind of that kind of a look. Um, then let's grab a new solid. And I want this just to be black. Into the background. And I'm going to just change the opacity on this noise. Just so it's kind of barely showing through. Now let's grab a new white solid. And it does have to be white. Call it dust. Go to effect, simulation, CC, CC starburst. And what that's going to do, it's going to kind of create this kind of a look. But I don't want it to move like that. So let's go into the speed. Let's bring that down to zero. Grid spacing down. Size down. Let's bring the spread really up high. Maybe bring the size up a little bit. And then let's keyframe the scatter. So I hit keyframe on scatter. Let's go to the end. And then let's scatter it some more. And so then what we got is something like this. And that might be a little bit more scatter than I want so let's slow that down a little bit so this is kind of the background I want to go for you know and maybe let's go into the dust and let's do like just a fast blur just not so uh, there and then what I'm gonna do is let's go into 
this is an After Effects CC feature. I can go into the Fast Blur, and here I have compositing options, and I can bring that down, and it creates kind of almost a glow. You can see. Excellent. So that's kind of the background I want to go for. Now, let's start to work on these titles. So first thing I'm going to do is I need to create uh, kind of a transition. So let's grab a new solid, call it transition. White or black is the color we want. And to this, we're going to add a layer style, which is the gradient overlay. Down in the gradient overlay, let's switch the angle to zero degrees. Bring the scale down. About 30 is looking pretty good. And then we're going to animate the offset. You know what? We need this to be at angle of 180 degrees because I want it to start white and then go black. So bring the offset so it's just over on the side. Keyframe that. And then we're going to animate it across over, I don't know, one or two seconds. Let's see how that looks. That's pretty good. Now what we need to do is we do need to pre-compose this. So Command Shift C and we make sure that we move all the attributes. Transition Comp is a good name for that. Click OK. And then I'm going to bring this and just throw it down at the bottom because I don't need it to be visible. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some effects to this title. So let's go in. And the first thing I want to do is add what's called a compound blur. And what the compound blur is is it will blur but based off of a black to white map. And so right now it's just pulling in the map from the existing layer. But if I go down here to transition comp, then watch what happens. It starts blurry and then it kind of transitions unblurry. So let's go somewhere right in the middle and make that really blurry. It's looking pretty good. And then while we have that transition comp that's a black to white, we can do some other things to this. So let's go down to distort and do a displacement map. And let's grab that same transition comp. And so now it kind of folds down because I'm displacing it based off of that same black to white map. That's pretty cool looking. Now, but what I, I do want to do is I don't want it to be like this. So I need to also add a mask. So let's take the transition comp bring it up above the titles, and then add a track map based off of Luma. Let's go Luma Inverted Mat. And what it's going to do is just like that, we've got that, that cool look. <clears throat> and if I want to change any of the way this looks, I can change the speed of the composition, this transition. I can add more blur. Pretty cool looking. All right. Now on top of this, let's add a nice lens flare. Now if you've got optical flares, that's going to look really nice. If you don't, um, I've got a free preset called Flare Plus, and there's a link to that in the description, and I'm going to be using that. So let's go to Layer, New, Solid. Flare Plus needs to be on a black solid, how it works. Give this flare. Grab my preset, drag and drop it on. And so this takes just your built-in lens flare and adds more to it. Makes it a little more dynamic. So once I have the flare on, I'm going to then change the, the mode, the transfer mode, to screen. Let's bring this down below the titles. And I want to add maybe a little bit more to this. Let's go to the effect, blur, and let's add a box blur. Let's have it just be horizontal. Increase the blur radius, because I want just more of a hint of what's going on. Just like that. Maybe bring that blur radius down a little bit. Next thing I want to do is I want to add another effect to this. Go down to Generate, Light Sweep. Bring this degrees to 90 degrees. And I'm going to 
hold down Option or Alt, and click on the center of the light sweep, and it brings up this pick whip, and I'm going to pick whip the flare center. So now, wherever I move that flare, I've got this kind of line going on. Looks pretty cool. So let's go to the beginning, and what I want to do is I want to keyframe the position of the flare, and I want to keyframe the sweep intensity on the light sweep. So let's bring that down to zero and keyframe the position over here to the left. And let's scrub through till everything's on. Bring the flare all the way over. And then I'm just going to move. Let's bring that down to zero and that's going to add another keyframe. And in the middle, I want to bring up the sweep intensity. So what's going to happen is it's going to zoom across, create that kind of a look. Now on top of this title, let's go in and I want to go down to Stylize and Glow. Let's add some glow to this. Increase the radius. Bring the glow intensity down. Just a little bit of glow. And then I am going to go back into these titles and I want this to not be white but let's change that color to kind of a medium gray and then to this the titles let's add another effect generate CC light sweep it's gonna add just a little bit of something different you can see it looks just a little bit different so let's set the angle kind of going from that top corner down to that bottom corner increase the intensity and the width looking pretty good. I'm going to come back in here. Let's bring these titles down even more. The color is still a little bright. That's looking better. Let's increase the width on that there. That's looking great. Now, I want to add kind of a darkness around the edge, kind of a vignette. And I'm going to use just a new solid layer, a black layer, give it a name. And then just, I'm going to use this ellipse tool while I have that layer selected, double click. It's going to create a mask. I'm going to invert it. Hit F on the keyboard, brings up the feather. And I can feather that. And then I'm going to take maybe this bottom and this top and bring it in so it's kind of a this shape. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that to fade on. So at this point, I want everything to be the way it is. So then let's go into the mask, keyframe, all of the mask. Go to the beginning, and let's bring the expansion down in. And so it's going to be kind of a circle fade on right in here in the center. This is starting to look really cool. Now, movie titles are usually moving. So if we take this titles comp, let's go to the end, click the scale, and then go to the beginning, and let's bring down the scale, say like 80%. And the reason why I brought it down to 80 and ended at 100 is just to keep everything nice and not um, going over 100%. Okay, looking pretty good. Now I want to add just a little bit more to this. So let's grab a new adjustment layer, put it at the very top. And on this adjustment layer, let's add, first off, let's go to Blur, and let's add a box blur. I'm really liking the box blur lately. Let's go to Horizontal. Increase that blur radius. And what I want to do is then let's go to Effect, Channel, CC Composite. Click on Behind, and RGB Only. And then on the Adjustment layer, come down to the Effects. For the Box Blur, the Compositing Options, remember this is a CC, Creative Cloud. I can bring that down. It creates these kind of this streak look. Then let's maybe just do some color correction. So let's go add some curves and let's add some green. Maybe on the noise itself, let's add some color to that. So I'm just going and doing some color correction on that noise layer down at the bottom. Well, that's looking really cool. 
Now maybe I do want to come into the noise and do a little bit of animation on the noise. And so let's just animate the evolution. So go to the beginning, click on the stopwatch for the evolution. This is on the noise in the background. Go to the end, and we can animate that. So we got, you know, maybe animate it a little bit more. Let's see what that looks like. Now this is looking really cool. Now, if you want to stop here, that's fine. I'm going to take it one step further. And I'm going to go into this titles comp. And what I'm going to do, let's turn on this transparent background so we can see, is I'm going to add an expression to this. So let's open up the scale, option click on the stopwatch, and I'm going to go value, which is the current value, minus index divided by 4. And then as I duplicate this many times, it's going to create almost like a, a fake 3D look. So let's duplicate that once, and then I'm going to take that layer, let's make that black, and then the text black, and then I can duplicate that more times. And that's going to create kind of this 3D kind of a look. So now when we come back into our movie titles, that's looking pretty cool. Now, uh, it's not kind of moving horizontally as much as I want to. It's more, it's not moving vertically as much as I want to. So I'm going to come in. And because I have that expression, I can easily come in here and just delete all those. And let's go in and change the expression. And what I want to do is this is two numbers here. So let's x equals that value give it a square bracket, zero in the square bracket. So that will take the value of the first one. And then let's do y equals value square bracket one, which is the second. And let's just go minus index, not divided by four. And then if we put square bracket, type x comma y, then it's gonna output that value for the first one, that value, value for the second one. So now it's going to move things down a little bit more. It gives it more of a 3D look. Kind of like that. There. That's pretty cool. Maybe that's a little bit too many. So I can easily come in here and just delete a few of those and it, everything just kind of changes. So that is my titles. I hope you learned a lot. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And if you decide to create a video or use this in a video of yours, feel free to just post that on YouTube, add a link to it here on this video. I'd like to see what you come up with. And um, don't be afraid to try new things, try different colors, change up the blurs and the glows, and uh, whatever you want. Just take this and run with it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.